welcome back let us continue with our exercise 2.4 now the new identity uh, we have to share today is that is your a cube plus b cube plus c cube minus 3 a b c what is this equal to a plus b plus c into a square plus b square plus c square minus a b minus b c minus c a so this is the new identity again from your understanding point of view you did not ever did this in your previous class up to 8 so add this to your knowledge what is this a cube plus b cube plus c cube minus 3 a b c is equal to what a plus b plus c into a square plus b square plus c square minus a b minus b c minus c a so you have to remember this and then the another thing I will like to share from the application point of view uh, particularly in these uh, questions based upon this identity is if you can say a cube plus b cube plus c cube you can write is equal to 3 abc i double f means what if and only if if and only if so i'm writing here i double f mathematically symbolically we say that if and only if what is that a plus b plus c is equal to zero so means as we identified in our previous question you studied based upon a plus b whole cube a minus b whole cube then we did yesterday a cube minus b cube and a cube plus b cube especially in case of factorization we focused ki what is a and what is b that helped a lot to factorize those expressions or identities uh, use we can identify very easily to write the answer if it is a perfect cube of 2 a plus b whole cube so i can expand that finally a plus b into a plus b into a plus b three times similarly here if the question is this and you are able to identify those three perfect cubes what is a what is b and what is c if the sum of those a b and c is equal to zero then you see this right hand side will become zero because any number multiplied by zero is always always equal to zero so then right hand side when will come equal to zero so i can shift this 3 a b c to this side then i can write that a q plus b q plus c q is always equal to 3 a b c so this is also one of the application part in your exercise questions i will come to this point also but before sharing uh, or starting that application part i'm sharing this how to apply this is conditional you need to check the value of a b and c and the sum of those must be equal to zero then you can write that is equal to 3 a b c means 3 into a into b into c so we have to keep a watch upon this now let us share some applications from the exercise point of view based upon this identity so today i will touch that much part only like your question number 11 is factorize question number 11 is based upon this you have to factorize that is the question uh, simply it is 27 x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus 9 x y and z now i have to factorize this so again you can see that this is lying in this form now a cube what is a is 27 is the perfect cube of 3x y itself is the cube of y and z is the cube of z now a b and c if i will put a 3x b y and c z i will be back to this question 27x cube y cube z cube minus 3 3 are 9 x y into z means the given expression to me which i need to factorize is lying in the form of a cube plus b cube plus c cube minus 3 abc where I said ki here a is equal to 3x, b is equal to y and c is equal to z. So what is this equal to? I said a plus b plus c. In place of a, b and c substitute their values. 3x plus y plus z. a plus b plus c into now a square. a square means what? 3x square. b square means what? y square. 
एंड सी स्क्वायर मीन्स वॉट जेड स्क्वायर ए स्क्वायर प्लस बी स्क्वायर प्लस सी स्क्वायर माइनस ए बी माइनस ए बी मीन्स माइनस थ्री एक्स इंटू वाई माइनस बी सी मीन्स माइनस वाई इंटू जेड माइनस सी ए मीन्स थ्री एक्स इंटू जेड एंड क्लोज दिस ब्रैकेट नाउ यू कैन राइट योर आंसर फाइनली दैट विल बी इक्वल टू थ्री एक्स प्लस वाई प्लस जेड इंटू स्क्वायर ऑफ थ्री एक्स स्क्वायर इज वॉट नाइन एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस वाई स्क्वायर प्लस जेड स्क्वायर माइनस थ्री एक्स वाई माइनस वाई जेड माइनस थ्री एक्स जेड सो दिस विल बी द फैक्टराइज फॉर्म विच इज बेस्ड अपॉन योर ए क्यूब प्लस बी क्यूब प्लस सी क्यूब माइनस थ्री ए बी सी सो प्लीज कीप ए चेक हाउ टू अप्लाई द सेम एंड देन लेट एस गो टू क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेल्व क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेल्व अगेन इज बेस्ड अपॉन योर वेरीफिकेशन to verify yesterday i shared that whenever you have to proceed in question of verification keep a watch upon your left hand side and right hand side so verify verify question is your left hand side is x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus 3xy z this is your left hand side x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus 3xy z 3xy z is equal to what Half of your x plus y plus z, and then this is uh, into square of x minus y plus square of y minus z and plus square of z minus x. I have to verify this. Uh, left hand side is equal to right hand side. So right now I am very much clear that my left hand side, if I will solve, will be equal to this. That is x plus uh, simply this I can write is equal to this in its simplified form. What is that equal to x plus y plus z into x square plus y square plus z square minus a b means x y minus y z minus x y minus y z minus z x. That much only I can do with the left hand side. That is the expanded form of a cube plus b cube plus c cube minus three a b c. It is given here in terms of x y z. Now I have to see whether can I reach after doing this simplification here. So half into x plus y plus z. Now into here you can see I am poss. Uh, I am finding it possible to expand in terms of a minus b whole square everywhere. So this will be x square plus y square minus two x y plus y square plus z square minus two y z plus z square plus x square minus two z x. Everywhere you have to apply the identity a minus b whole square and do that. Now your left hand side as it is you can leave it. Then one by two we have to see whether we will be reaching to this part or not. So here you see x plus y plus z. If you see your x y y z z x two two times are coming there. So I can write two x square plus two y square plus two z square. Similarly, your minus two x y minus two y z minus two z x. Now what happens? Two is everywhere there. I can take this two common. So two into one by two, then I am left with x plus y plus z into x square plus y square plus z square minus x y minus y z minus z x. This was minus here, minus z x. So finally, you can cancel it up, and you are left with x plus y plus z, which is a this is your left hand side, and this is your right hand side. So finally, you reach there. Your left hand side is equal to right hand side, hence verified. So this is the solution for your number twelve. Now question number thirteen. Question number thirteen is if x plus y plus z is equal to zero. Question number thirteen. If x Plus y plus z is equal to zero. Then you need to prove is then on behalf of this information 
you need to prove what is that x cube plus y cube plus z cube is equal to 3xyz fine now whatever the condition is given to you you feel free to apply that now here then I will start with my proof for this particular question. I will say given x plus y plus z is equal to 0. So this implies what x plus y is equal to minus z. Make a note of this. I am giving it number 1. So I have shifted z to that side. You feel free to shift either y or other x. Then you can add y plus z is equal to minus x or x plus z is equal to minus y. That is up to you. Any one variable. You shift to another side. Now, I am going to prove this. What is that? x cube plus y cube. When it is here, x plus y is equal to minus z now. I said, I need x and y and z in terms of their cubes. So what I will do? Cubing both sides cubing both sides what happens then x plus y whole cube will be equal to cube of minus z do not forget to take this minus sign with z please make it sure then a plus b whole cube already we did what is that equal to a cube plus b cube plus 3ab 3ab into a plus b and this will remain as it is Okay, now you look at this. I said x cube plus y cube. x plus y I said is equal to minus z plus 3xy. And here I am putting this is equal to minus z is equal to minus z cube. Why? Because this is x plus y. I said x plus y is equal to minus z from 1. This is I am using this one here. So what I did in this expansion of a plus b whole cube, a cube plus b cube plus 3ab into a plus b, then it is minus z, is equal to minus z cube. Now, finally I am reaching here, x cube plus y cube minus 3xyz is equal to minus z cube. So if I shift this z to this side, so this implies what? x cube plus y cube plus z cube is equal to 3 x y z which i need to prove so as i said ki if i have taken x plus y no need ki all the time it will be x plus y you can take it y plus z also then you will be giving y plus z whole cube then it will be minus x then you will shift x to this side again that will become y cube plus z cube plus x cube and then 3 x y z so that is going to happen randomly either you shift z or you shift y or you shift x for every variable the steps will remain same and you will be reaching there so this is the way how to prove this i think sufficient for today one application few more questions are based upon this identity like i think there are um, three more questions 14 15 and 16 that i will come back to you tomorrow thank you